everybody. Rich with Prep U down here in, well, actually outside the bunker in the family room, hanging out with the pups. Um, this video came to me the other day uh, at the range when I was talking to one of our new instructors, and he was talking about his instructor for instructor class uh, was a or is a retired uh, policeman. And they were talking about the different type of, type of training they do. And this is something I never really thought about, but it makes a lot of sense. As the title says in this video, uh, loading blind. All right. And uh, the reason is you're not going to be blind, but you're loading your magazine by not looking at it. And this is something you should train it for real world situations. So let's, let's talk about this. So how do we get to that situation? You've got your everyday carry with you. Um, this is uh, this is my everyday carry heavy. I have a light one. I have a smaller bag that I also carry a different uh, firearm in. Uh, this just happens to be my carry that I carry my 45 in, um, depending on where I'm going. So here's the scenario. All right, you get in a situation. You pull the bag around so it's over your chest. You open it up. I would open, pull out the firearm, pull out a magazine, orient it. All right, hopefully you don't have to go any further than this, but what if you do? All right, what if you shoot this magazine and it's gone? You use this magazine and you use this magazine. Now you're in a situation where, all right, now I got to load. Well, in this bag, top bag, I get to the point where now I have a bag of 45 left over. All right, I'm going to set this down. And I drop the bag, all right? Or I'm looking, or I'm trying to get in the bag. And what I talk about and what he talked about was when you're in that situation, you're not going to do this. Okay, i got to load my magazine and everything like that. What you're going to be doing is... If you're searching, you're looking around. You're looking, maybe there's one, two uh, perpetrators or somebody coming at you. Well, you're going to be looking around. you got to be able to orient your ammo, looking around, making sure nobody's coming at Because you don't want to assume that there's only one assailant. Because chances are they're not. You're looking around, you're looking, you're loading, you're loading, you're loading as fast as you can. Now you drop it. What are you doing? You're still looking around. You're still looking around. You got to find that ammo. And you got to get that ammo in, keeping it close to your chest at all times. And then you can get it, get your firearm, lock, grab your other magazine, have it ready. And at the same time, you're looking around, you're picking that ammo up. So that is basically your range trip, range training. Actually, you don't even have to do it at the range. I wouldn't do it at the range. You could do it at home watching TV. You could do it at home watching my videos. You could go, <laughs> you could go on YouTube and look at all the other videos that I, training videos that I have from the range and um, training videos that we've done at home about stance. Stance is a great video. Uh, how we train other people. But this is just another piece of the puzzle to make sure that you're okay. Practice not looking at your magazine, loading it from a bag, from a table, from the ground, in the grass. Do this. Train with it. Train going down and finding your ammo, orienting the ammo um, it, so you can load it into your magazine. Really, really important. So that's the tip. That's the tip for this week. Um... We always train, we keep going, but also have fun at the range. Uh, take somebody with you. It's kind of boring when you go by yourself and you go through a lot more ammo. Of course, unless the guy that or gal that you take to the range that they're shooting your ammo. But um, use this, train this, practice with it. Practice with the bag that you carry. Like I said, I have two bags. I practice with both bags. This, this is a great bag. Um, I get a lot of stuff in here. And there's also a video that I show you everything that I keep in this bag. Uh, there's also videos, list videos, that list everything that I keep in my bags, I keep in my car, I, you know, 
uh, what's in my, you know, bug out bag, what's in my I ain't coming home bag, because I can't, uh, which is never going to happen. Well, never say never. Uh, but there's all kinds of lists. There's all kinds of training videos. And, of course, there's prepping videos beyond the, you know, the firearm videos. We've got lists, and you can go to the list and take a look at those. Uh, subscribers, thank you. It's going crazy. We're up a little over 1,700. That's awesome. Thank you. Tell your family, friends, be a subscriber. Ring that bell. You know, help us out here. Uh, we do, uh, we try to do real-life training. Uh, hopefully, the next training is going to come from the range or... Uh, same range, new name, Range USA. And um, that's it for today. So subscribers, thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber, please, please subscribe. And remember, always be aware of your surroundings. Keep your head on a swivel. Be aware. Don't be in your phone walking down, you know, the road and not paying attention. Um, always have 72 hours of bug out food, water, and medicine available at all times because you don't know when you're going to have to bug out or evacuate. And please, prep like your life depends on it because let's face it, the more you prep, the better chance that you have of surviving. Take care. See you next time.